It is no secret that weevils can cause a major problem for a farmer and their crops. Now, producers of the southern pea crop are no exception, and researchers at the University of Georgia are doing all they can to stop one determined insect, the cowpea curculio. Most southerners love peas. They're an excellent source of protein, an important component of our diets, and they have a number of marketing options for humans and forage for animals. They're also drought tolerant, growing well in the southeastern summers. However, there is one thing you may not know. They're under attack. The problem that they're having is this insect that attacks uh, southern peas or cow pea. And it's a problem that's really plagued the southeast for well over 100 years. Dr. Riley is fighting a tough battle against this small but untiring insect. He said the cow pea curculio has been around for a very long time, and they're really hard to stop. And then what has happened is the, uh, the people that, uh, that buy the peas, they basically say, this is getting, it's getting too difficult to grow this crop in this area. We're just going to move it to some other production site. So in a sense, the insect has been winning. You know, you know we're not doing that well. Uh, Riley and his assistant, Jenna Kicklider, are in the lab at the University of Georgia in Tifton daily, attempting new ways to help growers in southern states sustain their southern pea crops during the upcoming hot summer growing season. Um, basically, I just set, out, set the trap out in the field, and it's a pheromone trap, so it just lures the um, curculios to the trap. And um, I just check it once a week, and you can, you can expect around, depending on like the growing season, if there's southern peas in the field, or um, like around August and September, I think that's mainly the peak in the generation. So you can, I can collect around 30 weevils in, per trap. It just depends really on their generation and where, you know, if there's southern peas out there or not. Raleigh said making his job a little more challenging is the limited funding his research receives from Washington. One of the things with this particular insect problem is uh, we've not been able to get federal funds to do this, this project. They basically look at it and they say, well, this is a, this is a southeastern problem and uh, you guys deal with it. And so really this problem has been uh, studied mainly because of the local growers that have come forward and said we will help you we will help you do this project next time you enjoy peas at the dinner table remember all the research that goes into making sure the consumer gets what they want now there is a georgia vegetable commission referendum vote that's currently underway through march 31st if you'd like to find out more contact andy harrison with the department of agriculture at the number on your screen that is 404-586-1405.